The Galaxy S25 series is almost here and the anticipation is higher than ever. If reports are accurate, Samsung could unveil its latest flagship lineup as early as January. This time, there's more than just a design refresh or performance boost to look forward to. Samsung might introduce Kai 2 wireless charging technology, which could revolutionize the way we charge and accessorize our smartphones. Before diving into the exciting details, here's a quick reminder. Don't forget to join our membership for exclusive content and insider updates. The link is in the description and you won't want to miss out. Now let's talk about Key 2 and why it's such a big deal. This wireless charging standard is based on Apple's MagSafe technology, introducing magnetic alignment for compatible devices and accessories. Although Kai 2 was announced two years ago, it has been slow to catch on among non-Apple smartphone brands. Samsung could be poised to change that with the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra. For those unfamiliar, Kai 2 is designed to improve wireless charging efficiency while offering magnetic alignment. This allows accessories like cases, wallets, and pop grips to snap securely into place, creating a seamless experience. However, magnetic alignment is optional within the Kai 2 standard. If Samsung decides not to implement it, users might lose out on the ability to use these magnetic accessories, which would be a disappointing missed opportunity. Still, the mere inclusion of Kai 2 is a step forward for wireless charging in the Android world. Reports suggest that the Galaxy S25 series will support up to 15 watts of wireless charging with Qi 2, a decent upgrade for users who prefer cable-free convenience. Meanwhile, wired charging capabilities are also getting a boost. The Galaxy S25 is rumored to support 25 watts of fast charging, while the Galaxy S25 Plus and Galaxy S25 Ultra could feature 45 watts of fast charging via the USB Power Delivery Programmable Power Supply Standard. That's great news for anyone who's always on the go and needs a quick power top-up. One thing to note, though, Samsung is unlikely to include a charger in the box, staying consistent with its recent practice. This means users will have to purchase their own chargers separately, which has become the norm for many flagship devices these days. Battery capacity is another area where the Galaxy S25 series shines. The Galaxy S25 is said to come with a 4,000 mAh battery, the Galaxy S25 Plus with a 4,900 mAh battery, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra with a 5,000 mAh battery. Combined with Samsung's advanced power management, these batteries should offer reliable, all-day performance for various use cases, from gaming to productivity. And here's another important reminder. If you're enjoying this deep dive and want more insider updates, join our membership. The link is in the description. It's the easiest way to get access to premium content and stay ahead of the curve. If the Q2 rumors are true, Samsung users could enjoy compatibility with a wide range of magnetic accessories. Imagine snapping a wallet or a pop rip securely to your phone without worrying about it falling off. The added convenience could redefine how people use their smartphones daily. However, whether Samsung embraces the full potential of Kai 2 remains to be seen. We'll have to wait for the official launch to find out. Another standout feature of the Galaxy S25 lineup is its support for wireless power share. This allows users to charge compatible devices like earbuds or smartwatches by placing them on the back of the phone. It's a feature that Samsung has offered for years and continues to refine, making it incredibly useful for people with multiple gadgets. As we count down to the expected launch in January, the Galaxy S25 series is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most promising flagship releases in years. Between the rumored inclusion of Kai 2, improved charging speeds, and robust battery capacities, there's plenty to look forward to. Samsung has consistently raised the bar with each generation of its Galaxy S lineup, and this year seems no different. If you're as excited as we are about the Galaxy S25 series, stay tuned for more updates. And before we wrap up, here's one final call to action. Join our membership for exclusive perks, detailed insights, and premium content. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, 
measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.